Hey guys, Stephanie here, and today we're going to be taking a look at and installing the Novi Stretch High Flow Front End Mask for 2015 and newer GT and V6 Mustangs. This is going to be a great option for someone who's looking for a little bit of front end protection for their Mustang. It has a very contoured fit and it's made of a lightweight, breathable, stretchy fabric material that has a lot of elastic qualities and it really hugs the front end of the Mustang. It's easily washable, it costs about $150, I'm going to call the install a 1 out of 3 wrenches in the difficulty meter. We'll go ahead and show you how it's installed now. For this install we used a body panel removal tool and a Phillips head screwdriver. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off this install by saying that we do have the car on a lift in the air a little bit just to show you guys exactly where we'll be working. You can install this perfectly fine without a lift and perfectly fine sitting level on the ground. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take a body panel removal tool and what we're going to do is we're going to remove some of our push pin clips that are holding some of the body pieces in place. And we're going to replace some of those clips with some of the fasteners that are given to us. We're actually going to start down here by the bottom of the bumper in the fender liner and I do have the wheel turned all the way just to get full access. That's something that will make it a little bit easier for you guys too. So we're going to be removing three push pins in these locations right here that are holding the fender liner to the front of the bumper. So we only have two that are in place, you guys are going to have a third one right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, remove these, and then like I said you guys will have a third one up here, then we're going to peel back our fender liner. Now we're going to grab three of the provided J-clips out of our hardware pack. We're going to peel back our fender liner and we're going to install a J-clip in each of those locations where we just removed the push pin from on the bumper. So we want the nipple side of the J-clip to face towards the front of the car. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide this J-clip into place. And then we'll let the fender liner back down into place. And instead of reinstalling our push pins, we are going to reinstall the provided snap screws. So our provided snap screws you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver for. So I have a little stubby Phillips head screwdriver here. I'm going to go ahead, start threading these into place. And then we'll go and do the same thing on the other side then. We'll remove our three push pins, we'll peel back our liner, install our J-clips, and then our snap screws. So once again we are missing our third push pin which would be located right in here. You guys are going to have that third push pin in place. So we're going to open up our hardware pack. Grab our three J-clips, peel back the fender liner, and get these installed with the nipple side facing towards the front of the car. Now we'll get our fender liner back in place, and then install our snap screws. So once your initial install is complete, removing the mask is actually really easy and should only take you a minute or two. One thing to also point out is that you guys probably want to clean the front of your car really well prior to installing it, especially if you're planning on leaving it on for a long time. Now we're going to start the install of our mask. So what we're going to do is we are going to open this up and get it in the correct orientation. So this piece right here is actually going to go on the top, so we'll save that for later. So what we're going to do is we are going to go down the side and these three snaps right here are going to install on the snap screws that we just installed on each side of the bumper. So what we're going to do is we're going to get these lined up and we're just going to push them into place and they'll snap right on. Like I said, you just want to make sure that you have the correct orientation and you're not installing it upside down. And this material, as you guys can see, is very stretchy, so do expect to stretch it out over the front of your car. Now that we have this side clipped into place, we are going to stretch this around the front and go ahead and clip in the other side. All 
All right, now that we have it stretched across the front, we are going to snap these into place on the side of the bumper. And now we'll move up under the hood. So this is why we popped the hood. It's gonna give us access to these four push pins right here along the bumper that are holding this cover in place. Now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove only the male portion of the push pin. We're gonna leave the female portion in and then we're just gonna push our snap screws into place. All right, so we are once again just going to remove the male portion of this clip here, which is the top portion. So I have the top portion up, I'm just gonna pull it out. Then we'll take one of our snap screws and we are going to push that into place. I'm just gonna use my handle here to help me. And we'll move on to the next one. So just as a side note while we're going through these, I do wanna mention that technically this will fit the EcoBoost Mustang, but it's not really recommended for it because of the front mount and it does slightly increase intake air temps in some cases. Now it's not gonna adversely affect the drivability of the car or its performance, but that's why you don't see it listed as being for the EcoBoost. All right guys, now you'll grab the mask and stretch it up into place. Now this is very stretchy and it is made to be a tight fit, so don't let that concern you. And I'll mention again that you really wanna make sure that you wash your car prior to the install because if you're installing the mask on a dirty car, then you could end up just scratching your bumper. So now that we have this pulled up, we're going to just snap it into place. Oh, and the mask can be easily cleaned too. You guys can rinse it with water or even use concentrated soap in some really dirty areas. Once we're all snapped in up top here, we are gonna go around the bottom and just make sure that this is sitting perfectly on the car. All right, now we're just gonna double check on the bottom of our mask here, make sure it's not bunched up at all, make sure that it's sitting perfectly under our front lip here. All right, and that's really all it's gonna take to get this installed. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap up this review and install. Keep in mind that you can always check this out more online right here at AmericaMuscle.com.